Hey folks, another quick video um, to say that any guitar, the status or the um, or the condition of any guitar is always in flux. Always, always, always. There's no terminal status of any instrument. Nothing is eternally good or eternally bad. Um, this sort of follows on from what I talked about in my last video, but this time with some demonstrations. I've got two or three guitars I'm going to show you. I'm not going to get into the type of guitar or anything like that. But I had set up perfectly. They were set up perfectly. Over the last couple of weeks, um, it's got really dry, it's got really hot here. Um, and, you know, in my particular house, there have been, there's been a fluctuation of temperature as well as the air conditioner, the room air conditioner being on and off, trying to get the humidity levels right. It's thrown out the tuning, but it's also had an effect on the setup of these guitars, which I will re-emphasize, I had, you know, perfect to my satisfaction. Uh, this particular guitar here, I picked up and retuned recently, and I noticed that at the uh, um, 12th fret, um, all of a sudden I have a note that's not playing. It's fine everywhere else on the guitar, it's just on the top string. And, um, you know, I just took it outside on my bench and I looked at, at the frets. And of course I have, uh, and this is common with guitars, a slight uh, body hump right here. And the fret has raised, particularly on the treble side. So I have to take this guitar two weeks after doing a perfectly good setup and now lower the treble side of this fret because... Uh, the conditions have changed. Wood is 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 mutable. It's shifting all the time. Uh, metal isn't. So um, you know you have a, a, a change in the physics of these things. And now I have to adjust um, this fret right here to take it down, uh, and so that that particular note frets. That's one example. I have another guitar. Uh, that I picked up that also I had a nice setup on. It's one of these. And these are really nice solid top guitars. This one here uh, has very, very slightly back bow. Uh, and it's changed the... Uh, again, it's not as bad as the other one. It's a different issue. It's not a fret issue. Um, this, uh, obviously, with the swelling and uh, shrinking of the wood on the guitar, you sometimes get a change in the relief or the uh, angles. Uh, and, you, you know, people who work on guitars regularly know about this. In fact, I have um, a good luthier friend that works in a, sh a local shop. We're good friends. Uh, and he's always, he's always swearing about Colorado, you know, because he'll get his instruments perfect and then he'll go play them a week later and they'll be out of whack again and have to do another setup. Um, just because, uh, you know, we have, uh, where I live, particular challenges with the uh, changes of seasons um, and also the use of um, heaters and air conditioning in houses because the, the, uh, the you know, it goes from one extreme to the other. Uh, right now we're in a bit of a drought too, um, so things are drying up and that changes uh, um, when you have different woods in an alignment on, on a guitar, they change at different rates. They swell and dry up at, in different rates. And of course it can change ever so slightly, throw out the, the continuity of the instrument and you'll have to do another adjustment. It's just par for the course uh, in most areas. Um, where I'm from in England, um, I didn't have to deal with uh, needing humidifiers and to humidify instruments as much as I do now because obviously uh, it's a much more um, rainy, um, humid uh, area. Um, and so I didn't have the same issues, but I had different issues. So no matter where you are, you're gonna have slightly different atmospheric issues to deal with, which is gonna change uh, conditions in any string instrument. Anything that relies on uh, pressure of strings against a wood um, backdrop uh, you know, if any fluctuation in, in atmosphere conditions is, is liable to shift that. I recently um, dealt with it on a cello setup. Um, I had a cello shift from a humid re region to a dry region. By the time it got here, the top had sunk. It was a solid top. It had sunk ever so slightly, I could tell. 
uh, the bridge was way too high, I had to cut it down. Uh, and also rehumidify the, the cello a little bit to uh, uh, stabilize it. So these are just some of the things that you have to deal with. That one has got a, a slight back bow. Nothing that a, um, a truss rod uh, correction won't, won't change, but there again, when we get to winter, uh, it might revert back, it might not. And I might need to do another correction at that particular time. Uh, similarly, this guitar here, this one's at the top this time. It's just got a buzz at the top, and I think it's just a slight shifting of uh, um, the body joint fret this time on the bass side, uh, which I will trim a minute amount off, I think, also. It's very straight, probably could use a little bit more relief as well. But anyway, the, the pure point of this video is just to say, um, don't relax about the condition of your guitar. Don't expect your guitar to stay in a particular condition or playability. They're always shifting, they're always moving. Even if you keep them in cases, um, they're liable to change um, their physical uh, nature just because of the elements that they're made of. And so uh, if you learn setup, it's not something you do once and you're done with. With some guitars, you get lucky. I mean, I set up some guitars and they seem to last an awful long time. And, you can tell they're very well made. Other guitars need monthly, if not bi-monthly or six-monthly, biannual, if you like, um, adjustments. A lot of times, a very slight adjustment. Uh, we just need to keep an eye on, on um, you know, string heights, uh, um, uh, neck relief, um, you know, frets popping up or bulging out. Um, slight contortions with the um, the fretboard. Um, these things pop up, and you and you often have to readjust. Uh, and often it's just a two minute, three minute job. Um, these three guitars I just showed you, I'm going to spend uh, about an hour, two hours. I'm going to put them all on my bench. I'm going to make those corrections, and they're going to play fine. Um, you know, it's just something that um, uh, that you have to do. And then there are other guitars on this rack that have gone through the same atmospheric changes lately, and they don't need anything. Um, they've they, they've weathered the storm fine. Um, yeah, there are different grades of rosewood. There are different grades of spruce. There are there are different grades of mahogany. Um, there's the laminated versus solid um, thing. Um, you know, there are different types of spruce tops that react differently. There are different cuts of the tree. You know, there, there's different grain patterns. Um, no two guitars are going to behave the same way, even if they're right next to each other under the same at atmospheric conditions. Um, it's just going to be different for each one. So just remember that, that your guitar, whether it's electric or acoustic, or your ukulele or violin or cello, uh, mandolin, banjo, uh, is always changing. It's all, there's always slight shifts uh, in the setup, in the way that the parts um, interact with each other, and, and it's a constant thing of keeping them well adjusted. Um, so stay patient, stay, stay vigilant, uh, and check them regularly, and don't get disheartened if something you set up perfectly a month later needs a slight adjustment. It's the name of the game. Uh, and we just have to learn uh, to stay on top of them and, and to um, play the seasons, if you like, uh, or the seasonal shifts. Um, and those of you who own guitars for a long time or, or work on guitars know what I'm talking about. Um, it, you know, you sort of start to learn to what to expect uh, when, when you see seasonal or atmospheric changes, although you can be surprised. You can often be surprised at how something changes or how quickly it, it changes or how, in some cases, very few cases, how violently it can change. Um, so just a video about, uh, 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 you know, um, the ongoing uh, fluidity of uh, instrument work and, um, you know, just staying patient. Um, more, of, more of a, a um, an encouragement than, than anything else. And I'll see you next time. See what I mean about the tuning? That was an E chord. This guitar has sat 
in different um, in, in rather violent temperature changes, and uh, it's played havoc with it. But give me an hour, I'll have it right. See you next time.